Tulsa Looks Good on You, your one-stop resource for all things Tulsa. Well, hey there, it's Jenny. I'm so excited to talk with Pat with Magic City Books. I love your location, and I'm so excited to learn from you today. Yeah, so why you. don't you share who you are and what you guys do here? Yeah, so my name is Pat Kowitzla. I'm the Buyer and Author Program Coordinator at Magic City Books. Uh, we opened the store in November of 2017. And uh, we are a nonprofit independent bookstore, and that's, that's a so cool. unique model in the country. There's a few other stores that are, that are like that, but um, we kind of take all the proceeds from the books that we sell and the events that we do and funnel it back into doing more events and more programs and more stuff for the city. So I can imagine that's really, since you said unique, is that a real, is that a benefit for our community? Like what does that do for, for yeah. our readers and our people? Right. So one of the things that we're able to do is we are able to kind of, a lot of times authors are visiting cities when they have a new book to talk about right. and, uh, and there's a publisher that wants to put them on tour because events can sell more books. Um, and so, yeah. and so the, the author comes and instead of selling you know, 10 books at that location, you sell 50 books at that, at that store. Um, and and what we're able to do because we have some money to be able to put back into the programming is that we can offset some of those costs and get even more authors. And we can yeah. and we can kind of do programs about important topics. And so we've done a right. number of programs on opioids and we've done a number of programs on kind of the media and a number of programs on Greenwood and Black Wall Street and, and yeah. race in America. Yeah. It's so cool. And I love following you guys on the socials, by the way. It just is, I'm always learning something. And I've seen that you've had some pretty cool authors come to town. We have. So just name off some of the, you know, <laughs> yeah. name drop for everyone so they know how powerful you so guys are. So I'd say, <laughs> I mean, so so we launched this program. Uh, Magic City Books was launched at a Stephen King event. And so yeah. that was uh, that was a, a really big one. We kind of made the announcement. It, it was already in the works, but made the public announcement at a Stephen King event. Uh, we've had Salman Rushdie here a number of times. Yep. We've had Nick Offerman and Megan Mullally here. We've had uh, Ben Folds here. We've had uh, Ambassador Samantha Power here. And we've had Tom Hanks here. I know, right? <laughs> and I that was, about Tom Hanks. That's right. Uh, and so that was a, a, our biggest event. Uh, we did that at the Tulsa Performing Arts Center. Had this uh, ticketed, you know, sold out show. Uh, a really fun night for everybody. Yeah. yeah. So um, why don't you share with everyone a little bit of history of how this came to be mm -hmm. and where you're even located yeah. and why that matters. Right. So we uh, kind of grew out of an existing program that our co-founder Jeff Martin had started. Uh, it was called Booksmart Tulsa and it was an mm -hmm. author program series. He was bringing these authors in. It was before we ever had a store. And so authors would come and partner with uh, organizations around town, do the events in, in churches and in restaurants and in uh, galleries and all kinds of different yeah. places yeah. all over the city. And there was no independent bookstore. We, you know, Steve Sundry had kind of been the last of that, of those independent bookstores yeah. mm -hmm. and they had closed a few years earlier and Tulsa really needed to have an independent bookstore to be a part of that art scene. I mean, a good, mm -hmm. a, a good city has great museums, has great arts organizations like the, the opera and the ballet and all the, and the symphony and all these wonderful things that we mm -hmm. have in Tulsa. And we needed an independent bookstore. So why do we, why do, what does a thriving community like ours need an independent bookstore? Well, because an independent bookstore can, can be a little bit more nimble in the books that we offer right. and, and can really be focused on things that are important to our readers and important yeah. to have that kind of community conversation around. Uh, it's real people making those recommendations and mm -hmm. not an algorithm or something else that, uh, that that's there. And so can kind of connect those Love things. It. And then, and then bringing those authors in. I mean, most author programs are done at independent bookstores and mm -hmm. those independent bookstores can kind of grow that audience and have conversations and build a community. So what's your favorite part about being here? So, I, I mean, the events are really fantastic. It's so, yeah. it's so wonderful to have a, an audience, whether that's 20 people here in the store or 2,000 people at the Pouring Arts Center, <laughs> but to have all these people excited about a book, excited about meeting an author. Um, you know, sometimes the author is somebody that is known for something other than writing a book, like right. Hanks was. Yes. Um, but a lot of times it's people that are, you know, they're, that's what they're known for is writing the book, and we get a big audience out yeah. and, and excited about it and, and just people – that are that are interested in it a lot of times it's stuff that you know people haven't read before because that's why they're coming to it but sometimes it's books that people have read or yeah. they've read other books by that author and they're really excited about the next 
Well, what do people need to know that I didn't ask you? That's really important. That, you know, we're, we're located in downtown Tulsa. We're on the corner of Archer and Detroit, kind of right on the edge of Greenwood and on the edge of the Arts District, kind of where those two yeah. neighborhoods are, are kind of converging. Um, and that downtown has is a vibrant community with a lot of stuff going on. And so we're just so a block from the ballpark, uh, you know, three blocks from Greenwood, so Greenwood Rising and, and all the things that are going on over there and continuing to grow and, and more stuff that's happening in, on, to the east of us. And then even further than that, the, you know, the BMX Center and stuff. Uh, to the west of us, all the, the Canes and the Tulsa Theater and restaurants and, and all kinds of other, and Guthrie Green and all kinds of other things that are going on that way. So there's a lot happening downtown. Um, parking is free after five. Parking is free <laughs> on weekends. Parking is free on holidays. That's street parking. Yeah. Um, lots are available. And, and so, you know, we like to we like to remind people that when you go to Utica Square, you know, you might have to walk the equivalent of two blocks. If you, you go, go to the if you go to Southern or you know, if you go to the mall or Tulsa Hills, you're gonna have to walk pretty far from where you park. So don't forget that when you come downtown. I that love like it. You, you just quantify it differently because you can see the block. Man, I love it. Well, Tulsa looks good on Magic City books, and we're so grateful to learn from you. And I can't wait to come to the next event. Great, so thank thanks you. so much. All right. We'll see you guys later. Bye now.